Yes. Welcome back. Now I am going to start the exercise based on the last lesson discussions. Last class discussions. The exercise is exercise 3B. Quite simple things it will be. It is based on completely that particular ideas which I have told you last day. The question is give reason so that none of the number below is a perfect square. Last day I have told you if a number ending with 2, 3, 7 or 8 it is not a perfect square. The question is say suppose the question number 1 first. The number is 5, 3, 7, 8. 5372. They are saying that it is not a perfect square. They are saying, but we will have to give the reason behind it. What the reason you are going to write here? Since the number ending with 2, so it is not a perfect square. Very simple. Since the number ending Wait 2 so it is not a perfect square. Same type of questions you will find here. Let's say suppose the second uh, one question is your sixth one. Question number uh, the sixth one 64 followed by 3 zeros. What number of zeros? So it is not a perfect square. So therefore, since it is ending with odd number of zeros, so it is not perfect square. So same way you have to solve the other questions. Now the question number two. So uh, which of the following are the square of even number? I have told you that the square of any even number is also even. Now suppose the question is question number two the first one. Two the first one. Try to understand. Listen, this is only the starting of standard 8 syllabus. Now, during this particular time, you should not realize or you should not consider that these lessons are quite simple. We shall do these things afterwards. No, immediately just break it. Because afterward, whatever the lessons will come during that time, will not get any time to go back again. So whatever the things I am telling you, obviously nowadays it is not a class. A very, very, very um, uh, uh, the thing is there, uh, which is a very important thing, that uh, this particular class, you are get, getting some recording mode also. In the class, what is happening? What? I have, I have, I used to tell all the things you are not writing on your copy. Whatever the things I speak, yes, it is entering here. But after the school, you are forgetting. Because the things not been recorded here. But here you are finding that the things been recorded. You may get the review also. Okay, anyway, now the question is that which of the following a square of even number? I have told you that a number it is given here and which is the square of any number. Say suppose the question number 2, 196, one, two first one, 196. 196 is a number. You will have to say that this is the square of even number or not. Because 196 is even number. 
So naturally, if it is a square, then it will be the square of even number. If it is a square. In that case, 196, you will have to verify. 196, it is required to verify. 2, 2, 2 nines are 18. 1, 6, 2, 8 is 16. 2, I think 49. 7, 7. So 196 is a perfect square. So therefore, you can say 196 is the square of square of even number. You can say, sir, you have told that square of any even number is even. Suppose in spite of 196, if I am going to consider 194, will it be the square of any even number? It is not a perfect square. That's why it is required to verify. If it is coming even, you have to verify. Like that way, suppose if it is given number 2, 441. 441. Now, if it is a perfect square or not, no questions. If it is a perfect square, it is not the square of even number. So, no need to verify. You simple write here 441 is not the square of even number because 441 is itself odd. So, in case of even, this particular verification will require. In case of odd, overlook it. I think it is clear. Odd number verification is not required directly. We just write, no, it is not a square of even number. If it is 196 or 194, it is required to verify. If it is coming in perfect square, you can write, yes, it is a square of even number. Same things you will find in question number 3, just opposite. That verify if it is the square of odd numbers or not. 441 say suppose. In that case, it is a perfect square. For that, will it be a perfect square? For that, suppose one question, I am going to consider officially. Suppose question number 3, say suppose 484. 484. This is even. So you just write there, no, it is not a square of odd numbers. Verification is not required. But suppose if it is 961, suppose it is 961, it is odd. So we should not make any conclusion that definitely 961 is a perfect square or not. In that case, the verification should be required. Because it is odd. It may be, it may not be. In that case, not divisible by 3. How it will be divided? Divisible? Let us try. First of all, 7. 7 ones are 7. 8, 9, 2, 26. Let me see that uh, by which number it will divide. 961 divided by 7, it is not possible by 9. No. It will be not be divisible by 11 also. So 961. Let me divide this one by 13 then. No. My goodness. 961. Yes, uh, this time questions will come, no, that time it is a very painful thing. In that case, what I am finding that uh, it is divisible by 29. Before that it is not divisible and you will find that it is coming 29. So therefore directly you can write 961 is the square of odd number. Anyway, now the next questions already I have discussed about the question number 4.
Yes, few odd numbers are there. You have to find the sum without taking the actual sum. Say, suppose question number four, third one. Question number four, third one. One plus three plus five plus seven plus nine plus eleven plus thirteen plus fifteen plus seventeen plus nineteen. This many numbers are there in this particular sequence. You have to find the sum of this number without taking a actual additions. What I told you that you have to count how many numbers are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it will be 10 square, which is equal to 100. Now question number 5. 5, say suppose first one. They have given a number 81. You have to write this particular number in the form of sum of odd numbers. So 81 you can write as 9 square. So you can say that sum of first 9 odd number is 81 always. So in that case 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17. I think 9 I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You will find that sum of these numbers will be 81. This much only you will have to do. Now question number 6. And in question number 6, about the question number 6, last day I have told you that um, Pythagorean triplets 2m, comma, m square plus 1 and m square minus 1 are the three Pythagorean triplets. In question number 6, what they have given that 6. Suppose one question is there, it's second one. 14. One of the Pythagorean triplets is given as 14. You have to find the others. So in that case, this 14, you have to equate with 2m. So then m is equal to 7. So therefore, the triplets are, therefore, the triplets are 2m, 2m I have told you that 14, comma, m square plus 1, that is m is 7, 7 square plus 1 and 7 square minus 1, which is equal to 14, comma, 49 plus 1, 50, 49 minus 1 is 48. You will find that 14 square and 48 square going to give you 50 square. So these are the three triplets. Let me check. Fourteen square plus forty-eight square. Let me check if it is coming or not. And forty-eight square. Fourteen square is coming as one ninety-six plus forty-eight square. Plus forty-eight square. Forty-eight square. It is coming as 2304. It is coming 2500, which is equal to 50 square. So naturally it is a Pythagorean difference. Anyway, I think it is clear. Next question. One more question only I am going to solve during this particular session. Uh, the question is that question number 7. We have to find the value of 38 square. I have given you the ready made formula. It is not a very much active thing for you. 37 square. I have told you that m plus 1 
whole square minus m square, which is equal to only m plus 1 plus m. So it will be 38 plus 37. The same way you have to solve the other question also. Only consecutive numbers you have to find. One more question is okay. Uh, I'm going to solve fifth one. 141 square minus 140 square. Obviously, consecutive numbers it is 141 plus 140, which is equal to 281. And that will be your answer. <coughs> well, uh, so today I am going to, I have solved up to question number 7. In the next class, few more questions and uh, one more exercise I will solve. Okay, so do it nicely. Okay, fine.